Hello, everybody, and welcome to Teacher Lee's reading class. We are going to read with Biff, Chip, and Kipper again today. This book is called A Cat in the Tree. Question time: Why is the cat in the tree? Maybe it likes climbing, or it likes adventure. And where is this tree? Is it in the city, the countryside, the park, or even in someone's garden? Let's read and find out. A cat in the tree. Floppy barked at a cat. The cat ran up a tree. Biff was cross with Floppy. Wilma climbed on the wall. Wilma climbed up the tree. She couldn't get the cat. Wilma couldn't get down. Wilma's dad was cross. He put the ladder up. Wilma climbed down. Wilma's dad climbed the tree. He couldn't get the cat. The fireman put a ladder up. Wilma's dad climbed down. Wilma's dad was stuck. The cat jumped down. Oh no! Said everyone. So the cat jumped in another tree. Will they get the cat this time? I hope so. Today's lesson is finished. See you next time, students. Bye bye. A walk in the sun. The children went for a walk. They were near a farm. I can hear a hen," said Lee. "That is a rooster, not a hen," said a man in big boots. Further along, Kipper saw a sheep. The farmer is giving that sheep a haircut," he said. "He is shearing its coat, not cutting its hair," said the man. "We need to go past that farmhouse," said Mum. "That is a barn, not a farmhouse," said the man. "This way," said the man. "I am not sure that is right," said Lee. That is a bull, not a cow. It was a big bull with long horns. Run! They all shouted. Go up that oak tree! Shouted Mum. The man went up the tree. This is a beech tree, not an oak, said the man. The end. At the seaside, the family went on holiday. Wilf and Wilma went too. The hotel had burned down. Sorry, said the man. They looked at a new hotel. Too expensive, said Mum. They looked at an old hotel. No, thank you, said Dad. Every hotel was full. Sorry," said everyone. They had to go home. But the car broke down. A farmer stopped his tractor. "Can I help you?" he said. The farmer had a bus. "You can stay here," he said. What a good holiday," said Wilf. The end. Biff and Kipper went on a bug hunt in the garden. Look, a big bug in the soil," said Kipper. 
Biff ran to get a jar. The jar had holes in the lid for air. Biff and Kipper had a good look. What is it? said Kipper. Dad has got a good insect book, said Biff. Let's check it out. They put the jar down in the kitchen. Mum was peckish. I think I will have toast and jam this morning, she said. Mum got the butter. What are you having? said Chip. Toast, said Mum. What with? said Chip. Mum took the lid off the jar. The bug shot out. A bug! shouted Mum. A bug on toast, said Chip. Yuck! The end. Hello everybody and welcome to another Teacher Lee's reading class. Again we're reading The Oxford Reading Tree with Biff, Chip and Kipper and all the gang. So today's class is called By the Stream. Question time. Where are they? They are on a... That's right, this is called a bridge. This is a bridge. What do you think they are looking at? Is it interesting? Okay, you tell me any answers you can, just talk to me. And why do you think Kipper is scared or worried? Okay, have a think about it. Let's start the book. By the stream. By the stream. Mum and Dad sat on the rug. The children played by the stream. Biff went on the bridge. They dropped sticks in the water. Kipper couldn't see. Kipper climbed up. He dropped Teddy in the water. Get Teddy, said Kipper. Biff couldn't get Teddy. Get Teddy, said Kipper. Mum couldn't get Teddy. I want Teddy, said Kipper. Dad couldn't get Teddy. Dad fell in. Splash! I am a frogman, said Dad. Okay, lessons finished today. It was so funny, Dad got all wet in the end. Okay, thank you very much again for coming, students, and I will see you next time. Bye bye! Bye, the string. Mum and Dad sat on the rug. The children played by the string. Biff went on the bridge. They dropped sticks in the water. Kipper couldn't see. Kipper climbed up. He dropped Teddy in the water. Get Teddy, said Kipper. Biff couldn't get Teddy. 
Get Teddy, said Kipper. Mum couldn't get Teddy. I want Teddy, said Kipper. Dad couldn't get Teddy. Dad fell in. Splash. I am a frogman, said Dad. The end. Hello everybody and welcome to Teacher Lee's reading class. Today we are going to be reading Hey Presto. Question time, who can you see? That's right, it's Wilf and Wilma's father. And what is he looking at? Yes, it's a poster. And her name is... Yes, she is Sheener. Let's find out more about the story. Let's go. Hey Presto. The children went to a show. Mum and Dad took them. A conjurer was in the show. She was called Sheena. She took Dad's tie. She put it in a bag. She took Mum's earring. She put it in the bag. She took Dad's watch. She put it in the bag. She took Dad onto the stage. She put the bag on Dad's head. Sheena took a big box. She put Wilma inside. Sheena took her wand. Hey presto, she said. Hey presto, said Wilma. Okay, so, did you enjoy today's book, everybody? I hope so. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye! Hello, everybody, and welcome to Teacher Lee's reading class. How's the weather? It's... Yes, it's cloudy. Very good. How's the weather? It's... Yes, it's hot. Very, very good. It's hot. So, can you guess what we're learning about today? Today, the name of the book is It's the Weather. Look at the picture. How's the weather? It's That's right. Is Windy. Who is she? That's right. She's Mrs. May. And she is holding an... Yes, an umbrella. So, let's read. Ready, go. It's the Weather. The children were noisy. The children were silly. The children were messy. The children were untidy. Oh dear, said Mrs. May. It's the weather. The children were cross. The children were grumpy. The children were unhappy. Oh dear, said Mrs. May. It's the weather. The sun was shining. The children were good. What a day, said Mrs. May. 
Wow, so there were many different types of weather in this story. Thank you very much for coming everybody. See you next time. Bye bye. King of the castle. Mum and dad took the children to see a castle. A big coach was in the car park. The castle had a moat and lots of turrets. Look, said Chip, I am a knight. Nadim said, I will be a knight too. I will be the queen, said Biff. Then I will be the king, said Chip. No, I am the king, said Kipper. I am the king, shouted a man. Dad was high up in a turret. Now bow down to the king, shouted Dad. All the people from the coach saw him. Then they all made a bow. Quick, we, did, we need to tell them Dad is not the king, said Chip. No, said Biff. Wait. Such a good castle, dear, said a woman, and we saw the king. The end. Kipper the Clown. The children put on a circus. Kipper was a clown. Floppy pulled his leg. Chip was a strong man. He made everyone laugh. Wilma and Biff did gymnastics. Everyone had a drink. What a good circus, said Mum. Wilf was a stunt man. Kipper was fed up. He wanted to be a stunt man. Look at me, he said. Everyone looked at Kipper. Oh no! I am a clown after all, said Kipper. Kipper's idea. Dad took Kipper to school. They went past the post office. A lady was painting the wall. Kipper ran into the playground. He wanted to play. There was a drawing on the wall. It was a drawing of Kipper. The wall looked a mess. Mrs. May was cross. The children were painting. Kipper had an idea. Miss Green drew circles on the wall. The children painted faces. The wall looked good. Everyone liked it. The end. Hello everybody and welcome to Teacher Lee's reading class. Today we are reading with Biff, Chip and Kipper and the gang, and the book is called Monkey Tricks. So, question time. How many animals can you see here? Maybe one, two, maybe three monkeys here. Where do you think the family are? Yes, maybe they're in the zoo. And why do you think Kipper is giving a thumbs up? Hmm. Let's read and try to find out the answers. Let's go. Monkey Tricks The children went to the zoo. They looked at the giraffes. The giraffes were tall. They looked at the seals. The seals were hungry. They looked at the crocodiles. The crocodiles were asleep. They looked at the parrots. The parrots were noisy. They looked at the elephants.
the elephants were big. They looked at the monkeys. The monkeys were funny. They looked for Kipper. Kipper looked like a monkey. The end. Did you enjoy today's book, students? Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye bye. Monkeys on the car. Mum and Dad took the children to the safari park. Stop in the car, said the man, or a lion will get you, said Dad. They saw the zebras. A zebra crossing, said Biff. They saw the elephants. Look at the baby elephant, said Kipper. They saw the lions. I can see a lion cub, said Chip. The monkeys jumped on the car. They pulled at the wipers. The monkeys pulled and pulled. They pulled the wipers off. Oh no, said Dad. You bad monkeys, said Biff. I see you had monkeys on the car, said the man. Yes, and monkeys in the car, said Dad. The end. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Teacher Lee's class. Students, have you been good today? Are you always good, or are you sometimes a little naughty? Okay, today's lesson. Can you guess what it's called? Naughty children. Let's start the story. Naughty children. Two children came. They climbed on the furniture. They jumped. On the sofa, they climbed up the curtains. They jumped on the bed. They climbed up the tree. They jumped on the flowers. Oh no," said Mum. Biff had an idea. They climbed up the ladder. They jumped off the log. They climbed on the net. They jumped off the wall. Everyone was happy. What good children," said Mum. The children went home. Okay, did you enjoy today's book, children? Please remember to be good as often as you can. See you next time. Hello, everybody, and welcome again to a reading lesson with Teacher Lee. We're learning today about nobody wanted to play. First, let's talk about the picture today. Who's in the picture? Do you know? His name is Wilf. What is Wilf doing? He's right. That's right. He's riding a bike. Very good. Where is he? Is he at the zoo, the park, the school? Where is he? Yes, correct. He is at the park. And who is with him? His friend. Is it a cat or a dog? Yes, it's a dog. And what's the dog's name? Yes, it's Floppy. Floppy is the dog's name. Now let's start the story. Nobody wanted to play. Wilf was cross. Nobody wanted to play. He went to the park. Wilf played on the rocket. 
I am a spaceman, he said. He played on the seesaw. I am a juggler, he said. He played on the horse. I am a cowboy, he said. He played on his bicycle. I am a stunt man, he said. He climbed up the ladder. I am a fireman, he said. He climbed on the wall. I am Spider Man, he said. Whoops. The end. Did you like today's story, everybody? Thank you for coming and see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Teacher Lee's class. Today, we're doing something different. We are going to do a reading series with the very famous Oxford Reading Tree. So, today's book we will start is level three and it's called On the Sand. Let's go. On the sand. Please read along and look at the pictures. Oh, they're at the beach. Biff and Chip played on the sand. Mm, look at Dad. Dad went to sleep. Biff and Chip put sand on Dad. They made a sandcastle. They put Dad's hat on top. They went to get an ice cream. Dad was still asleep. Chip looked at the donkeys. Biff looked at the boat. They looked at the go-karts. They looked at Dad's hat. Oh no, said Biff. Dad was hiding. Biff was cross. The hat was on a stick. The end. So, did you like today's book, everybody? Please go to the next lesson to read more with Biff, Chip and Kipper. Thank you very much. Pond Dipping Wilf and Wilma were at the pond. The net got stuck. Help me pull, said Wilf. They pulled the net. It was stuck on some jack. Wilma got a big stick. Let's pull it out, she said. Wilf and Wilma pulled. They couldn't pull the junk out. Mum and Dad helped. They pulled out an old pram. Plop, a frog hopped out. It made Wilf jump. Splash, a fish jumped up. A pram full of fish, said Dad. Pram dipping, said Wilma. The end. Road burner. Nadim had a car for his birthday. It's called the road burner, he said. It can go fast. Wow, it can zoom, said Kipper. 
The children had a go. It is hard to turn, said Chip, if you go too fast. A man went past on a scooter. His wallet fell out of his pocket. The children saw the wallet. We need to stop him, said Biff. Stop, they yelled. He cannot hear us, said Chip. But the man did not stop. He did not look back. Nadim had a plan. He put the wallet on the road burner. Then he sent it off. The scooter was fast, but the road burner was faster. The man saw his wallet on the road burner. Thank you, he said. You did me a good turn. The end. The carnival. The mums and dads were busy. They made a giant shoe. They put it on a trailer. The children dressed up. Dad was the old lady. The giant shoe looked good. They took it to the carnival. The car broke down. Oh no, everyone said. Come on, said Wilma. Biff, Chip and Wilma pushed. Come on, said Kipper. Come on, said everyone. There was an old lady. She lived in a shoe. She had so many children. It was a good job too. The end. The duck race. Wilma had an idea. The children made six ducks. Let's have a duck race, said Wilma. Mum began the race. Drop the ducks in, said Mum. The ducks went down the stream. Oh no, Wilma's ducks sank. Chip's duck got stuck in the reeds. Biff's duck got stuck in the weeds. Will's duck got stuck on a log. Get it off with a stick, said Chip. Kipper's duck went fast. It went past Dad's duck. Two swans flew down. They landed on the ducks. Six soggy ducks, said Kipper. The end. The enormous picture. The minibus broke down. It will cost a lot to fix it, said Mrs. May. We need lots of money, said Chip. We can paint an enormous picture, said Chip. We can all paint a bit, he said. We can, said Mrs. May. Mrs. May made a copy of the picture. She cut it into squares. Paint a big picture of your bit, said Mrs. May. Biff had to paint yellow petals. Chip had to paint a yellow square. Mrs. May took all the children's squares. She made an enormous picture. People came to see the enormous picture. It made a lot of money. The minibus was mended. The enormous picture did a good job, said Mrs. May. That is not as good as our enormous picture, said Chip. The end. The ice rink. Wilf and Dad went to the ice rink. They put skates on. They went onto the ice. Hold my hand, said Dad. Wilf held Dad's hand. 
This is fun, said Wilf. Wilf let go of his dad's hand. He began to skate. Whoops, Wilf sat down with a bump. This ice is cold, said Wilf. Dad began to skate. He went round the rink. Look at me spin, said Dad. Look at me jump. Dad got some cold drinks. Look out, Dad, said Wilf. Oh no, a banana skin. The end. The mud bath. Dad was playing football. He ran with the ball. Go on, Dad, called Chip. Kick it. Dad fell over in the mud. Splat. Bad luck, Dad, said Biff. Oh, Dad, said Mum. What a mess. I want a bath, said Dad. Dad went up to the bathroom. He ran a bath. Dad came down. There was football on TV. Dad looked at the football. Go on, he called. Kick it. Dad forgot the bath. Drip, drop, drip. Plop, plop, splat. What was that? said Dad. Splash. Oh no, said Dad. The end. Hello everybody and welcome to another Biff, Chip and Kipper reading class. Today we are going to read The Rope Swing. Question time. Have you ever been on a rope swing? Do you think it's scary? Do you think it's exciting? And where are the children? Are they in the park again? How do you know? Is it green here? Is there lots of grass, trees, bushes? What's Floppy doing? Woof woof! Floppy is bar... That's right, Floppy's barking. Maybe he's worried. Let's see if he should be worried. Let's start the story. Let's go. The Rope Swing The children went to the stream. They looked at the swing. Wilf climbed on the swing. Chip pushed Wilf. Floppy looked at the rope. Biff climbed on the swing. Floppy barked and barked. Chip climbed on the swing. Floppy barked and barked and barked. Kipper went on the swing. What a silly dog, said Kipper. Wilma went to on too. What a silly dog, said Wilma. The children went home. Floppy looked at the rope. Splash! 
Oh no! Aha, uh -huh, the rope swing finally broke. I wonder why it broke all of a sudden. Anyways, the lesson is finished. Thank you for coming, everybody. See you next time. Bye bye! The snowman. It was snowing. Hooray, said the children. They saw Wilf and Wilma. Wilf was sweeping the snow. Biff had a good idea. She made a giant snowball. Everyone pushed the snowball. Floppy barked and barked. Wilf had an idea. He wanted to play a trick. The children made a giant snowman. Wilf's dad opened the door. He saw the snowman. Wilma's mum took a photograph. The snow fell off the roof. Six snowmen, said Wilma's dad. The end. The Steel Band A band came to play. My name is Stan, said a man. I want you to help us. I want you to clap, he said. Clap your hands and tap your feet. I want you to sing a song. Sing it with us. The children sang with the band. Now clap as you sing, said Stan. Who wants to play in the band? The children put up their hands. Everyone wanted to play. You can all play, said Stan. Wilf hit the drum. Tap it, said Stan. Don't bang it. What a grand band. The end.